Hello there everyone, my name is Leo and in this session we're going to have a look at Wix again. Wix the website builder and more specifically we're going to have a look at how to uh, create a button, how to create an anchor link which is very popular these days in websites and we're also going to look at how to add and remove pages. I'm going to keep it nice and simple. I'm not going to go into too much detail. And what I encourage you to do is have a go yourself. So what I show you, that's the foundation, and then just build on it. Okay, so let's get started with the basics of just, um, if we want to uh, add or remove a page, we start off by going up here, this area here, and particularly if we're editing, for example, this is how we toggle between the different pages. And probably the easiest way of adding or removing a page is to go over here to the Menus and Pages section here on the left-hand side. And if we click on here, we can see down the bottom here, we've got Add Page. Click on that. And we can see it's uh, by default it's set to new page. But I'm just going to change this to test page. And you can see that it's going to be underneath the home page, right next to about. Up here on the page menu, you can see that new page is going here. I'm just going to click on done so the title changes. If we want to move it anywhere along here on the menu, we simply click, hold and drag to where we want it to go. Simple as that. So that is uh, creating a new page. Now, how do I get rid of a page? Well, I go over here to the options menu and I simply click on Delete. Confirm the delete here. And boom, that page is gone eventually. And I'll just close that menu down. Now another great feature about Wix is there are a huge array of different buttons that we can choose from, ways that we can style the buttons. I'll leave that up to you how, to, how you do that, but basics of buttons is just to have a look at this and I would encourage people if you're using a template from Wix stick with the original design don't go messing it around messing around too much with it so if you want to change something on a button all you're really going to be doing if, if you want to keep the design integrity of the template is clicking on the button Clicking on change text, for example, maybe we want to make this into, um, into a registration button, uh, button, so register button. Now you also see over here on the right hand side, there's layouts, design, all sorts of other things as well. Now that's not so relevant. The more relevant aspect to you as you're starting out is to know about the links. So if I click on the link represented by this little chain here, okay, let's get that back. We can see over here on the left hand side, these are all the different destinations from if we click on a link where it will take us. So by default it's set to page and that just means it's going to take us to an internal link, one of our own web pages. Web address at the top relates to an external web address. So if you want to address um, or have a link going to more information about something that's outside of our page, we can use that. Anchor link I'm going to talk about a bit later. Over here, it asks us which page and we're going to choose from all the different internal pages that we can link to. So we can choose that here. 
how does it open? It will stay open in the current window or a new window. When it says new window, it really means new tab. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you an example of how to do an anchor link. These are very popular in web pages nowadays because they mean that people don't have to go to whole new pages for, for, for additional information. So let's see it in action here. So this is the home page of this particular website. And I first thing I want to do is create. Before I do that, I'll actually show you one that's already in on this web page, but it's been used through the menu here. So if I go to preview, just so you understand 100% what an anchor link is, if I go to preview and I go to contact, click on contact, you'll see the page scrolls down automatically to contact us. So that's an anchor link in action. Now to set one up, it's really quite simple. You've got to follow a couple of steps. So I'm going to do an anchor link using a button. So I click on add and I want a button. And I'm going to use this one here. Now I wouldn't really do this. You know, this, this doesn't look particularly stylish, but I'm just demonstrating a point of how to do something. So I've put the button in here, that's all good. Now I have to get the actual anchor point arranged. So my anchor point, I want it to be down here about us. So I go over here to add, then more, and anchors, and simply drag that little icon across to where I want the anchor destination. And I'll give it a name too. I'm going to call it about us because it is linking to about us. And if there's a few anchor links in your page, you want to keep track of where they are. Okay, so I'll close him down, go back up to my button, click on the button, and I'll change the text. So it reads about us. Go over to the link. So check on the left. Now, I have to change that to anchor. See just here? So no longer is it a page link, it's an anchor link. It's staying on the home page, perfect. And you can see it's set to about us already. All the different anchors that are set up will appear here. I want to keep it on about us, so I click done. Now I do a preview. And oh, fingers crossed. Down we go. Okay, beautiful. That's all working nicely. So that's just a few very simple things. Adding and removing pages. Editing a button. Uh, remembering that you're welcome to have a look at the design and the styling and all that sort of stuff as well. And also creating an anchor link through a button too. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, nice and brief presentation and see you again soon. Bye for now.